What's up, Roscoe's? Hola. Hola, hola, hola. Hi, how are we doing tonight? Let's do that. Let's try that, that again. That, that sucked. Every time. Should we try this again? How are we doing tonight? Yes. 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 That's lovely. That was. Lo are you are you checking your stuff out right now? I don't how, see why not. Hi, how, YouTube. How does it Just look? Say, are, are you happy? It. How do I look tonight? Thank you. I feel I feel good. I okay. Feel good. Do, do I look okay? How does she look tonight? I'm not gonna say that was Fucking louder, bitches. but it was. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Um, All right, so, um, yeah, you guys ready to bring out our special guest? Are you ready to have a good time, yes? I am ready. You know I always have a good time with y'all. I'm super excited about our guests um, this week. One I have not met before. The other one I saw just last week in LA, and we were carrying on and doing... <laughs> really? All what right, well, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. You want to bring her on? For sure, ladies and gentlemen, if you will. She is Miss Congeniality. Make some noise for Heidi in Closet! Yeah. Yes. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, oh yes, y'all. It's so good to be back here. I think I was here the first time that everything opened back up here. No? Yep. You were our first guest. Yeah, yes. she, she was our yeah, first yeah. one, right? Yes, yeah, you were our first guest. So we brought you back for the real experience. And to sit on our lovely furniture. The, the lovely, look at the lovely furniture, everyone. <laughs> we can afford nice things now. Okay. For everyone on YouTube talking about our I'm furniture, I just, I really just want to express how, <laughs> to let you guys know to go fuck yourselves. Uh, you're so, um, <laughs> they're just so violent. <laughs> so aggressive. You woke up and chose the violence on today. Well, you know. <laughs> I wore a flat today, so I'm... Oh, getting, she ready to fight, I'm huh? feeling very that way. Oh, just she's like, that girl. I am that girl we today. We knew yes, she was. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, but yeah, um, I'm totally ready to have a good time. We are going to kiki and talk the most shit and all that good stuff. But before we yeah, do that, we want to remind you guys about Madonna Rama this Sunday with DJ Riley York. Starting at 8 p.m. Do we have Madonna fans? Yes? Woo! Yeah, so starting at 8 p.m., all Madonna, all night. So come on by and have a kiki with us. And then we have some other announcements. Yes. I was thirsty, bitch. Of course you are. Should it's, we all do a drink together? She's so shitty, yeah. Where's Drinks up. Drink yes, Drinks raise, up. Your, raise your glass. And make sure you tip your bartender, because they're getting you fucked up tonight. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Che che where's your... Oh, I'm still waiting. Uh, God, there we go. Oh, thank uh, you. Water. She's last. <laughs> she she can't water. drink, girl. She gets crazy. Yeah, I, I, I'm still on probation. <laughs> I'll drink for the both of us. That's fine. I'm so, yes, please do. I'm, I'm still, you know, under supervision and all that stuff. So. All right, join us on Saturday for XYZ Drag Brunch, hosted by Auntie Chan. Have any of you been to um, Drag Brunch on Saturday? It's a good time. Um, our special guy. <laughs> You guys are so shady. Anya, <laughs> Who's been to the brunch? Crickets, I know Anya's bitch. been here at least once. So I was like, yeah. I went like the, yeah. Sounds yeah. like an amazing time. Sounds like a great time. <laughs> no, it really is a good time. It is a good time. You guys need to come by for real, for sure. But go ahead. Um, we, our special guests this week are going to be Utica, Kenzie Coulee, Aurora Cosmic, Exo Carrington, and Jay for Pay. Saturday from 12 to 4. So come on down and play with them at brunch, eh? yeah? Is... Is J yes. for pay Joey J? No. No. So she's not gay. gay. What's her tagline? What are you doing? I'm a gay ass bitch. So she's not a gay ass bitch? No. Oh, uh, well. She's J for pay. <laughs> Shit. Guys, and next, next week, um, I'm just going to keep going. Are you high? <laughs> I wish. Oh. You, got, you got some? You should have let me know, bitch. Shit. <laughs> We'll tip out on Untuck real quick. I'm too scared to go to the airport with weed, so I'll be like, uh-uh. Oh, uh, man. Uh, uh. What are they going to do? They're not going to get me. Y'all <laughs> not going Y'all not going to get me on TV. <laughs> okay. <laughs> TMZ. <laughs> but that's okay. We got plenty of dispensaries here. You hey, pop on in. We, and we get to get you. Are, are you having any shots today? Um, I, I, I accept what, shots. What's your shot preference? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh no, I was saying no, mine. 
No, not tequila. Not tequila. I'll do a lovely lemon drop. So let's get her some or, tequila. Or, That's no, a lot of work. No tequila. Get her tequila. I or want her I'll to start do, talking I'll shit. I'll do a whiskey, like um, a chilled, uh, what's it called? Um, like a fireball? Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> uh, what's it called? What's that? What about crown, crown apple? apple? Oh, yeah. I'll there a is a shortage apple. of crown in America right now. Let's get what? her. Let's get her a crown apple. Let's get her one of those. And if you want to make it a double, sure, let's do that. No, no, no. no yeah, no. yeah. I mean, let's have, no. yeah. let's have a good time, girlfriend. Uh, Heidi, no. Heidi was chatty upstairs. She was really feeling it. She's like, I am ready to let these girls know. Yeah. I would never yes, lies, lies and deceit. I'm literally congenial. <laughs> I couldn't. Um, I. <laughs> I literally got a check for being nice. I could never read from the hose. <laughs> and it was a lovely check, let me tell you. <laughs> Bought me an apartment in West Hollywood. <laughs> Listen, guys, I know you're probably wondering where Akira is, and we are too. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, yeah. uh, she is, she's running a little late today. Um, CPT. So, <laughs> there's so always one. She'll be, yeah, always. So she'll be here in a little bit. Um, don't worry for those of you that I came to see Akiria. Um, she will be here. Yep. yep. You'll smell her. Fish will come right through. <laughs> like, bitch, black fish is here. Uh -huh. Now, with that said, are we ready to get into this episode? Yes? Yes! yes! Let's do it! Yes! Gorgeous. All right, Mikey, let's go ahead and play that episode. Oh. Run that Run shit. That shit. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We, we got some, we got some yes. explaining to do. No. 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 My first question is, how in the hell did Raja get to start the pick when Sonique won the challenge? Why are you mad, though? Because she, won she worked <laughs> her ass off. Well, that, just because you work hard don't mean you get everything. Trust me, I know. I know. But um, <laughs> that was not a read. I'm black and from the South, duh. Same. <laughs> Work real hard to get hardly anything. That's my life goal. Not my life goal, my life story. There we go. <laughs> Yeet. She is the most. I'm okay, not. Okay, so let's. The, um, Eureka is is it for me? She's just you know. Can she sing? I don't know. Can she sing? Can Eureka sing? Does she got a song out? <laughs> she, she, oh, she, she did, did sing, sing that ballad. She did sing that, that song with her mom. Wait, for her mom with the big old... That, yeah, was, that was her weird. vocals? Well, not live. No, no, no but bitch. They were, they yeah. were pre-recorded, no. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. You can't trust the pre-recorded vocals. I can't trust I, you. I, I have a song out, and I can't sing worth a yes, damn. Yes, you oh. do. Um, real quick, let's talk about your song that was just nominated for... LA Music Video Awards for Social Commentary. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And... And can't sing a lick, and I live. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Neither can RuPaul, but that's okay. Oh, well. Wow. It's Judas. Ooh, the girls are so Judas this that was season. True. What oh, do you my. Mean? Oh, my. <laughs> I told y'all Heidi was something on something today. No, I'm she's, not. I swear. She's trying. She's really trying it on tonight. I'm on 110%. Yeah. Well, like Jet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Baby. Go, you Every time Jan came on the stage or on the show, I was like, "Here we go!" And then, why you hate my? Sis? And it was just so much. Like she comes in the dra in the fucking room, like, "It's a new day." Hello, Akira's here. I smell fish. I, 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 I smell fish. The fish that dish. Ladies and Akira. gentlemen, make some noise for Akira! Yes! yes. Oh, body yadi 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 Work. Oh, where'd you get this wig from? It's cute. It's laid. She, I, I grew you, this. What do you mean? Uh, 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 uh. In in the last four hours, you grew it because I saw you earlier. Well, I saw you earlier, and you didn't look like this. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not claiming to have grown my hair. You're claiming to have grown your hair. But you're claiming African. I, 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 <laughs> back in my day, let me tell you a story. Let me. Hey. Hi, baby. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. Now that I'm here, I'll be even better with a cocktail. 
Oh, what are we drinking? Hey, gorgeous. What are we Hi. drinking, Akira? Listen, I'm late, so I'm going to go ahead and get it started. Let's go ahead with a fireball shot. Okay. Yes. Well, we did one already, so we're going to get you a double so you can catch up. Oh, no, I'll have another tequila Can we with bring her, her a double, too, Thank so she you. can catch yeah. up? Never leave a girl alone. Never. Yup. I'm not. I'm not doing this. So with tell us, Akira. Uh, we were just watch. We were just watching right now. You missed. Have you seen a little bit of the episode of this one or no? <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like. I didn't I'm make that there. cut. I'm not watching this. <laughs> but shit. you. I'm over but you it. were in it a lot. They showed you a lot though. A lot. Yeah. 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 They, they should. They, okay. <laughs> Ginger said you had a very triumphant moment <laughs> when you went home. That's what she. That was her words. That was not exactly mine. what she low, said. Low key, that's, that's what she said. Low key, that's exactly what she said. Which but, you know, yeah. that's fine. And you know, I think she meant a different phrase. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, the thing about that is, it was triumphant for me because I went out with my head held high, yes. knowing what I set out to do, I did. And I think, I think along those lines is really what she meant, where right. she was saying that you left, but you left on such a high. You know what I mean? It's not like it was like, oh, she needs to go home. Because it wasn't like that. No, you know we know I mean? Jan needs to go home. <laughs> y- y'all, stop hating my... Okay. Batty. You said it. Batty. Yes. Why are you dragging my sis? Well, it's drag race. No, no, no. <laughs> so... Yes, you so Judas. Oh, no, uh, uh, no honey. It's we love, even though she could be a little that way, we love Jan here, don't we, Ray? We love Jan. But do we not we love, love Akira more? Yeah, we love her. I was going to say, bitch, let me take Obviously, this shit. Obviously, girl. Obviously. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What's new? What have you been doing since, um, the, since the show? What's coming up for you? What's the thesis? So since the show, I've been working. I've been making merch. I'm working on my funeral home business. Yes. yes. I'll let a lot of bitches to rest later in Always. life. Always. <laughs> Always. Um, and just traveling. I'm just excited to be back on stage. I wasn't the girl who enjoyed the whole virtual shows and stuff because I like to interact with my people. I like the vibes. I like the energy. So... I'm actually glad just to be on stage and just to be traveling again and actually watching myself back on a big screen. I mean. Yes. Oh my goodness. I I definitely agree with that because I, the whole digital drag was like, yeah, I'm comfy because I'm not tucked and there's no drag on the waist down. (laughs) But it's it's nothing like being in front of a live audience. Like, I just love, I I thrive off the energy of a crowd. I I love it. Thank you. Uh Oh, what are these? Another another one. Y'all not going to get me. So, listen, Akira, we have so many questions. We want to talk to you about your runways. We want to talk about uh, the other episode with the pink table talk because it was very intimate. We want to know more about stuff like that. But we're going to take the shot. We are going to segment right into the episode, and then we're going to talk to Akira and Heidi a little more. Go ahead, Mikey. Play that episode, yeah? Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Body of a goddess, face of Aphrodite. She's, She's the, the new bitch, Miss Ass Almighty. Yeah. Yeah. I had my lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. She yes. knew what the fuck was up. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. So we saw in the beginning, before you got here, we saw the voting. And you voted for Raja, being, you know, she's, it's between you two, obviously, right? So, if you were going to vote somebody else besides Raja, who do you think deserved to be in the bottom or go home opposed to you or Raja? And be honest. And, and honest. I'm always honest, sweetie. <laughs> we want to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was in the top. Y'all so rude. Listen. <laughs> this is not for you. Okay, so being in the challenge, honestly speaking, from the way it went with Michelle getting out of her seat and the person that was getting work with the most, I honestly thought Kylie was going to be in the bottom. And I wasn't the only one that felt that way. Now, it's no tea, no shade to Kylie, but from the way things went as far as Michelle actually fully directing her through the challenge, we all kind of thought, okay, well, we have our clear bottom today. Well, bitch, guess what? Surprise on motherfucking me. No, we said that last week as well. Yeah. We were like, I think that she's going to be in the bottom because they gave her so much time, and then they made you walk through that door and throw that so many times. How many times did you do that? And it was so crazy because when I first came out, it was like Michelle had said, okay, Akira, bring it back, pull it in. 
And so when I did that, it was like, on the main stage, well, Akira, you seem really reserved. You didn't give oh. enough. And it's like, well, ooh. ooh. But she I, directed you. They made you do it so many times that she didn't get up out of her seat to do to show you like she did Sonique. She sat there and told you, okay, try it like this, try it like this. She got up and said, Sonique, so, well, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she got it, okay? She did what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then it worked. <laughs> Okay. But then even in that moment, well, like, all right. Not saying I was supposed to win because, bitch. I mean, I feel like honestly, Jan was really good. I mean, as far as however y'all feel about her, it was, was. a Jan. Actually, it was, she was. Um, she, she was. She, she was, was really good. It was a character for her. For You're me, best. Gabby was one of those. Per- she was. Gabby on the show was one of those she people was. that was really reserved. She had an attitude. Everything was so dry. So I'm thinking, being Gabby, everything is dry and sarcastic. So I wasn't expecting to come out there like Jan as a cheerleader mm-hmm. giving attitude. So it was like we didn't really understand where you were giving in the child. Just like, well, okay, girl, I, I see. It's my time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and she's comfortable with it. And you, you, you knew, didn't you? Thank you for allowing me to be intermission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we saw in the pink table talk we saw you open up and we saw a little bit more about you and your journey and uh, before we uh, when someone does transition there is no right or wrong way everyone's journey is absolutely different um, and there is no right way or wrong way to do this and I want to know about what your journey was and obviously what you know we've seen what the outcome was but what what headspace were you in and how did you reach that Okay, so how I end up transitioning um, or beginning the process to transition, when I was younger, we all go through that thing of hiding in the closet. So you always She's feel alone. She's next to you. <laughs> <laughs> she oh, is damn. right there. <laughs> no, not that, bitch. <laughs> is this what I grew to? <laughs> <laughs> No, but honestly, we all had that that thing of hiding in the closet, and I don't know if it, like it's in a good the name. It's in a good the name. black community, it's definitely not celebrated. You know, when your son is gay, and I'm the oldest of th- of two, so it was like one of those things where I always felt like I was loved, but I wasn't accepted. And so when I started doing drag and I would get on stage as a curia, those applause would make me feel loved and accepted. So I kept doing it and I kept doing it. And I was thinking to myself, okay, bitch, well, if I do, if I'm a curia all the time, will I get that same applause of love and acceptance? Not knowing the whole time it was false, it was literally just a crowd going up for my costume or a crowd going up for my makeup or a crowd just going up just because they're drunk. For the body. Right. So now I'm now facing issues that trans women, especially trans women of color, face on a day-to-day basis, and the struggle began to get harder on top of what I was already dealing with. So I had to stop, and I asked a lot of older trans women, you know, about their journey, and nine out of every ten women told me that she did it for the show, and I didn't want that to be my journey. And I also feel like in order to transition, it starts up here first, and mentally I wasn't there. I was only, as far as illusion, my illusion was correct, but my mentality wasn't. So that's what made me stop and realize because I didn't want to look back over my life 10, 15, 20 years from now once the applause stopped because it does fade away. And I'm like, who am I? I wanted to know who I truly was on the inside, so I had to live in my truth. So that's what made me retransition. I don't say detransition because I feel like when you say detransition, it takes away from those who already did transition as if what they did was a mistake or what it's less than. I retransition back to who I truly felt like I was. Your true, authentic self. Wow. Yeah. And, and like I said, we all reach our true authenticity in different ways. And that was your journey, and you've gotten to where you are now, and you're beautiful, and we absolutely love you. Thank you. It's a filter, but you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> there is no filter here, bitch. This is all real. Front row, yeah. <laughs> this is real, bitch. Everything's real but the yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, now, Heidi, don't shake. Heidi, if the opportunity presents itself of to course do All Stars, would you do All Stars? And we want the truth. <laughs> Well, you know, stop it. 
she was our first guest, so I really have, me and Heidi have a good connection. She um, bullies me, yes. No, 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 no. She's my bully. I am the queen of mean, but yes, I am very truthful, that's it. And she gave me gonorrhea as well. <laughs> How? Well. Anyway, all-stars, <laughs> would you do it? W- would I do all-stars? Yes. I, well, I feel like that's a loaded question. No, it's not as simple as no, yes or it's no. it's not a fucking baked potato. It's I, I love a baked potato. I know you do. You look like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, you know, I had such an amazing time my first time around. I went in, acted real dumb and stupid, and just had a good time. Got dragged to the coals, though. Meanwhile, like, just get drunk. Like, ah! But, um... <laughs> I had an amazing time. I wouldn't change it. Well, I would have changed that hoe taking my spot in the top four and then get disqualified. But, um, but. Uh, 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 wait, 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 disqualified? Wait, what? No, wait, who? Disqualified, my bad. Um, no, I, that's the only thing I would have changed. That hoe took my spot in the top four, which is fine. But, um, I had such an amazing time. It was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it was also the funnest thing I've ever done because I just love drag. I love acting stupid Breathe. all the time. Breathe. And. I, <laughs> I think I would go back. I think so. Um, yeah, I think I'm in a... My drag has evolved so much since then. My makeup is, you know, not yes. terrible. And um, <laughs> I've changed a lot and grown a lot, both physically, mentally, emotionally. And I think I'd be up for a challenge. So, yeah, I'd probably go back, yeah. Well, we would love to see her back, yes? Well, let's get back to the show. All right. All right. What a show, yeah? So All right. Who, who were your favorites and standouts for both the challenge and runway? Let's guys? do the challenge first. Let's talk about the challenge before we get to the runway. Oh. Because um, that's not what I said. Well, no. Because. <laughs> no. No, I want to hear. Actually, I it wanna, was. I said challenge and runway. Bitch. Yeah, but I want to hear the challenge first from everybody, and then we'll move to the fucking runway, Mary. The, the girls are fighting. Oh, my God. Ah, that's why they make us sit away from each other. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, she was there. here. Oh my god. Oh. All right, so yeah, no tell Akira. us. Ch- challenge first. For the challenge, my top two was Raj and Trinity, no shame. Yes. Trinity served it. I I hate to repeat, but yeah, those two ate the challenge. Uh yeah, they they ate it up. I'm sorry for the rest of the girls. They were just there. You know the the girl the, the ooze and the ah girls. That was the rest. My fa- we love oohs and ahs. You have to have them for the no, song. You have to. You have to. But you have to what have the I love, there must be a background. <laughs> what I love about oh. challenges like this, like uh, like Akira on the show, you you made the top on your season. So when you're on your season, you're expected to slay. You know what I mean? Because there's a certain expectation. But somebody like Trinity, who wasn't abs- didn't get to really shine. You know what I mean during her season. Then she does stuff like this, and you guys get to see... Like, these, all these girls are so talented. You just don't get to see it. So I love that we got to see that from Trinity and from Raja. It's, it's a really good time, yes? Absolutely. Yeah. So what about the runways? My runway favorite... I enjoyed Ginger tonight on the runway. No shade. I, I enj- I Talking enjoyed to your microphone, Ginger. Akira. Um, Akira, I, I know you want to show your beautiful teeth, but just, you know, you can just, like, do like this. Okay. I also en- I also enjoyed Sonique's look. It was really nice. She's so fishy, I hate it. And I um I also enjoyed a curious look. You guys haven't saw it yet. Yes, that's what Ooh. I was gonna say. Yeah. Tell us about it. Tell should, us yeah. about it. You She's, should leak it here. Tell us a little bit about it. it after. You should leak it here now. Uh huh. Wow. She um, said, "Do you know what I said? I said, when are you gonna mm. post your look? Or I said, have you posted your look? And she's like, no, I want to let the girls have their runway moment. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know. And I said, very I had fair. My time. It's very fair because yeah. I truly think that she still deserves to be there. Yeah. Not because she's sitting on our couch. Yeah. I truly think that you are now, a. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, w- since no. we're talking about your looks, and you did, uh, you you worked a lot with Joshua Aponte. Shout out to Joshua, who's yes. from. Yes. He's originally from Puerto Rico, but yeah. he lives here in Chicago. I'll, Shout out I'll to translate him. for you guys. That's and Joshua Aponte. And, yeah, because uh, I've never said <laughs> Joshua. <one. laughs> yeah, so, so good. Um, from Aponte Designs. Um, so was his, was this look another Joshua design, no, or this, well, what's the next look? This look was actually a collaboration between me and Jeffrey Kelly. Oh, oh Jeff- I love him. Oh, love Jeffrey. Love oh Jeffrey. Love, 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 love. He has great structure. 
I adore Jeffrey. Like she, he, she is bone structure. structure. Yeah. No body structure. B- bitch the body, body the face, body. Ooh, everything. Just, and he's ooh, really good so about good. accentuating a body and like really serving sex. Like Jeffrey's really yeah, good at that. Is. So you guys, yeah. Jeffrey Kelly, look him up. He's, oh, I can't wait he's to really see. good too. Yeah, we, we were talking boys. last week about um our about the designers and making sure that you know we I we like to speak about who designs. Um, your outfits when you're sitting with us so that we, you know, the, people can look them up and know them and make, you know, follow them and, you know, secure the bag with them. So we want to know all those things. That's why we keep asking these questions. Oh, yeah, of course. Heidi, who do you work with? Uh, well, I Walmart. work with... Oh. I'm kidding. I'm who ki- are you? It was a joke. Wow. My name is <laughs> Batty Davis, bitch. <laughs> look me up. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back again, by the way. The bitch. <laughs> Well, um, I work with I work with Joshua. He actually made my rose gown for the finale of season thirteen. Yes, he beautiful. Did. Um, I work with my drag sister, uh, Bang Bang Ladesh in North Carolina. She made uh, my black wedding gown for my season. The one time I actually looked good on the runway. Thank you. No, um, not the one time. And there was there was but like ben, three. She makes some sickening stuff. She uh, does, and she affordable, does. and very affordable. So like that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. to, to beep beep, rewind that, and uh, click and double save that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, and Ray Ortiz, Ray Ortiz in LA. He made my Michael Jackson look for uh, season 13 as well. Yeah. He actually just made me this new look that I'm about to debut here soon. I'm excited. Who are you wearing tonight? Because uh, we were speak- talking upstairs in the dressing room <laughs> about you uh, um, wearing um, a new this, wearing this outfit. That oh, this outfit? Us. Yeah. Or, or this outfit. No tea, no shade. <laughs> she said a new this. This, this. this is the Kyria original. Yeah, she made this. A, 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 you, you were telling me that you had a designer that yes, had reached um, out. Their name's Kenneth. They don't have an official line yet, I don't think, but their name's Kenneth. And they actually made this outfit for me. Um, they like, they like, they love my work, and they reached out to actually a lot of the girls in LA, and I was the first one to like respond. They're like, you're the only one that's responded so far, so here, I'm gonna give you these. And I think the outfit's really cute. I love like, it, it's cute. Yeah. She was yeah. up here squirreling. Ooh. She gives me like- and They're pants. Ooh. Ooh. She gives you like Hawaiian roller coaster ride, like a oh, you're in theme with the tropical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is my runway. If I, if I've been invited to, uh, I love the hair on your stomach. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's a great accent. Thank you. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I got Trey coming over later that likes it. Leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> listen. I want to remind everyone that tomorrow, this these lady. two lovely ladies, Akira and Heidi in Closet, will be performing. <laughs> sh- wait, oh, wait They're a minute. They're gone! Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait woman! Hold wait, on, hold on. Woman! Ma'am, 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 what is your name, ma'am? Ma'am? Right here, ma'am. Hi, woman. Ma'am. I want you to stand up and what come is, right here and name? look at this come TV. Here. I want everybody to see you and put back what was in your mind. Come over here really quick. The picture. Because those gays made you fucking go get that shit. She said, We're talking. This lady comes through, excuse me, excuse me, with a full-on oh! picture. <laughs> can, I, can I have a cherry? Can I have she a cherry? She said, bitch, I am not standing up again. <laughs> that was so good. I live. What's your name? Angela. Everybody say, hi, Angela. Hi, hi Angela. Angela. Angela will not know where she is in 20 minutes, but we'll keep it going. <laughs> Thank you for that, Angela. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bitch, we're going to be stunning to Angela in a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're going to think I am painted back in a yes, second. Ma'am. I live, honey. So before okay. we go back to the show, I want to remind you guys that these two lovely ladies, Akira and Heidi and Closet and myself, will be performing tomorrow at 10 p.m. So Whoa! make sure you join us here at Roscoe's. Is it tomorrow that you'll be debuting this new costume? That, is that what you said? Yes. Or was it no, for the internet? Or, or is it's it a social a photo? Piece. Is it a social it's media? It's under this page? one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a revamp! No, the legs aren't shaved either. Leave me alone. Ooh, girl. Wow. Damn, sir, Drona. You want my razor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me. <laughs> also, real quick. Next week is Market Days. Yay, it's happening. Yes. yes. Next week, Friday, we are going to have a very special show for you all. Featuring the one and only Eureka O'Hara. We'll also have Tenali Fox. Detox. Wait, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, because we we don't want to announce it just like that. Because that's not how it works. Next Friday, because it's market days, we have a very special lineup for you guys. So, yeah, girl. She's just... 
it was it. She Wait. just like we have this person, that person, this person. No, bitch. Well, fuck my bitch, drag. Did I not say it was fucking Marker Days? Over. She gonna make me come over there. I'm gonna either go down the stairs or, w- or walk over there. Ladies, these girls. ladies, please. You're both pretty. <laughs> Calm down. She really tried. Stop me. lying, girl. Stop not lying. as pretty as Akira, but you're both pretty. I, 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 <laughs> so next week, never as pretty as Akira. We have. <laughs> So yeah, go ahead, bro, bro, go ahead, because you made that very, uh, uh, what do you call it? That was very special. No, it's been right. it was, it's been that was real exci- You guys are real excited, right? Yeah, we have a very special she, show. She made it very eventful. I'm, I'm so, so excited. Okay, take two. Nisha, go ahead. No, no, you were making that very eventful. I want you to Sean, do it. Sean, manager, where's the fuck my manager at, bitch? <laughs> um, we also have Utica, Joey J, and Tainomi Banks. Oh, okay, bitch, why I didn't make that cut? Hosted by Nisha Lopez and myself. So make Wait, sure you guys up. come out next week Thursday and watch the show with us. We have not, not announced who's going to be here next week Thursday, but come see us on Thursday, but for definitely come see us for our Market Day special show. Um, and I'm very excited. I haven't done a Friday with you yet, Nisha, and I'm not sure if I want to do one with you after that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> She doesn't like to share, but it's going to be caring. a great time. I can't wait to share the yeah. mic with you next week. Yeah. Yay. She doesn't have a twirl around that bit. Anyway, okay, so I love you, sis, and uh, I'll see you next week. So uh, we should get back to the show. Yay? Yes. <laughs> judging. Yay. <laughs> Fucking bitch. We love the judging. Is that Tina Knowles? It is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I have so many questions. Okay, wait. Akira has some questions. Akira, what are you thinking? Okay, so my question to you all. Uh huh. Outside of the show, what do you guys consider a lip sync assassin? Because that word gets thrown around so much with this franchise, and we give certain girls that title, and it's like, honestly, why? Ooh. I actually would like to hear your response to Ooh, that. Oh, the girls are girling on this season. No, I'm, no, it's a serious question because we've heard it time and time again. And some are self-proclaimed lip sync assassins. So I'm just asking exactly what do you feel like a lip sync assassin is? So you think Cameron Michaels I would, is a I would, lip sync assassin? I would definitely assassin. consider Cameron she has Michaels. Muscles, that's why? Yeah, she's the muscle queen. I, would, I, I could take that. I could definitely consider Okay, so this is my opinion. Yeah, my opinion on that personally, I feel like they Outside went, of Drag Race. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the thing is, there's, there's lip sync assassins that like Laganja and Cameron who really are. They really are. But I think what they did was, was based on their seasons that they sent a bitch or two home. So then they considered them a lip sync assassin. You know what I mean? But it'd be like that sometimes. I, so- I think, because I, I literally think that it was, it was the show that got them hyped up like that because there's been a couple that I'm, like, no tea. I mean, I, I love Manila to death, but they, they made her lip sync assassin. She, she's lip synced a lot. And they gave her a sexy song to do. That was not the tea for her. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it could be weird. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. And, and it's no shade to the ones who've been called back to right. lip sync assassins. That goes for even regular seasons. You know, you come out the season, and you have a lot of girls who are self proclaimed lip sync assassins. Who or are self proclaimed? I want to know. We just. Who is so self-proclaimed? I just want to know for Akira. myself, I'm as on an entertainment level, what do you consider someone who is a lipstick assassin? Because for me, everybody's not going to be a girl that can flip, dip, and split a- across the stage, but they can stand there and deliver a performance. Yes. Yes. Coco, also, Coco. Right, they can actually, like Coco. Coco did Coco that. Coco is yeah. not one that's going to flip and dip and come out the ceiling. Yeah. But she's going to captivate you the moment she steps on that stage, regardless if she's standing there in a gown or if she has on a dance costume. She's going to make sure that you feel the ambiance of whatever she's delivering. Yeah. And I think it's like a lot of things that this show has done. It has created things that are not real. It has created these narratives (laughs) that really don't correlate with real life. Because there's some of these girls that'll make runner up or top five and then you see them and you're like the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> no but it's very this true this my five thousand dollars I mean, really what like, you trying true. to say what you trying to say not you Heidi not you this <laughs> where my five thousand dollars went 
you got a down payment for your apartment, girl. You're good. Okay, Work wait, on that so house in Palm Springs. Did, how are we feeling about this? Uh, listen, I feel bad for Jan because... I'm devastated. You, can you, wait, you, can, did you just say you feel bad for Jan wait, only me, because you saw her you in why. LA last week no, at a bar? No, no, no. Let me and, tell you... It almost had a threesome. Let me tell you why. Can you imagine the roller coaster of emotions that she felt when they said Pandora? She's like, yes, bitch, I'm staying. And then they said, hold on, bitch, there's another lipstick. Oh, fuck. I'm here. And then, oh, no, she's going to choose. Oh, wait, I can still stay. She's Babe. not going to choose me. No. And then, then she chose her. Yeah. Poor girl. And then y'all wonder but, why she's so fucked up in the head. That girl don't know that she and, is not delusional. But, but, she honestly, knows now after but today. But, but to honestly, but, how even, sure. I know she was even more fucked up the fact that mama went home on a singing challenge. <laughs> And so has the I best voice out of all them hoes. That probably brain fucked her seven times. Mm. Bitch, I gotta call her after this, bitch. I just and, gotta but see. No how shade. She I honestly did. Okay. I honestly did feel for her. But it's just Jan always. It's like when you want to feel bad for Jan, she always <laughs> says this one thing, and it's like, okay, bitch, there it go. It just went out the window. So it's <laughs> like, oh, Jan, well, and then she said, well, it's because they saw me as a threat. But now y'all fuck it. Well, fuck it. Fuck it. Well, yeah. <laughs> being, being someone who actually personally knows Jam for more than Delusion. 10 seconds on a TV, I, I know per Jam personally more than 10 seconds on a TV show. Well, that's okay. Uh, so especially you, because you've been talking a lot of mess. Tell us the truth, then. No, but sh the thing is, she is very talented. And yes, she, you, and she is very hungry. She wants to show everyone how good she is. And I think it doesn't come across well on the TV. So I feel like people... It devaluate her actual talent. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yes, we know, the we girls know, be dragging her. We know exactly how talented exactly. We, uh, she is, but, but they, we know how talented you talented you are. Well, we you. know how young but you I are. I don't brag about it. No, exactly. So <laughs> there's there's something called cooth and knowing yeah, but, you know knowing your worth and not having to throw it in everybody's face absolutely. that you are the best. 100%. And all of those girls there on this show are the absolutely. fucking 100%. best. hundred percent. You know. I just feel like a lot of people drag her for having that go-getter attitude, being like, I want to do this. And I feel like she shouldn't be dragged for that. Well, she should be dragged for like bringing it up constantly, yes. But not being dragged for, for like wanting to be my like, mic off. Yeah, no, I, I want to be the best. I, I, honestly, I don't feel like anyone. they drag her for her constant go-getter attitude. I think it's for forcing it down people's throats. Absolutely, that's the that's go-getter part, the yeah. the reason that they drag her. Um, but for like honestly, for me, I enjoy Jan. I, yeah. I think Absolutely. Jan's a wonderful entertainer. I think she's a wonderful person. But I also have to keep in mind, Jan's also young. Yes, because so y'all were some old bitches on y'all season. Whoa, whoa. Just because you grew up learning drag through YouTube, sister, do not... I didn't grow up with YouTube. I grew up with YouTube. Well, well, I, I unfortunately, up on YouTube. I come from an era where we actually had to perform to get where we wanted to. Yeah, like when you, guys, a, you guys are pictures. Crown. I'm Can we win a crown? You guys again? are pictures. I'm entertainment. If it's the difference. If y'all look at my Instagram, hold on. Yeah. The gag is, I grew up with old school drag queens, so that I'm very yeah, much old, old school. You, no, you grew up. You didn't grow you, with. You were still growing, baby. Yeah, you, you were still, still growing. growing. And you're I'm still, still out there, you 26. Were growing. I'm still growing. <laughs> yes. I'm still growing. That's between you and the Lord. Absolutely. And keep that between your pants. <laughs> but gag, no, but like... No, like I am from the old school drag. Style. Like I come from that old school patch. I'm very actually. I have you more do, Patrick Crowns. I have more Patrick Crowns than Jada Essence Hall, but we don't talk about that. So wow. I do. You both are still 12 years old. Exactly. No, I'm just telling facts. We've talked about it before. So yeah, don't. don't so yeah, age don't. is age is the number, but experience yeah. is something that you have to go through and absolutely. learn through. And absolutely, I see it. I see it with you, just like Jan. You are very much so like Jan in a way of like you're so bubbly, you're so excited. Thank like you. it's so it's so fast. Like you are so fast. But we're not telling you that that is bad. No, we, it's not bad for you. It's bad for her because she doesn't know how to tone it down. And there's a time and there's a place. You style step things and put things into place when it absolutely. needs to be. If you are always going to be 110 and 110 and 110, I mean maybe when the role calls for 80% and it's a hundred fucking thousand dollars, you're not going to get it because you don't know how to dial back. It's all about that. Yeah, it's also, learning the experience. Also, I have, I, have, I have to chime in because this is the thing. That when we're, we're talking about Jan and being 110, 110, 110, 110, and she's just annoying and she's this and she's and that. And I am on. very much Hold, little fucking Jan, 220. Hold I am on. that bitch. But this is the thing about, you have to understand that 
There has to be a story for Jan. There has to be a narrative. This is what they chose for her. This was the Absolutely. narrative that they decided to go with. If you meet Jan, Jan is a beautiful person. She's bubbly. She really she's is. fun. She's Absolutely. great. And she's fucking talented. And it's not that she's like, uh, it's not that she's too much or she's on 500 and she needs to pull back. This is the narrative that they chose for her. It's yeah. the same thing with Akira. Akira is so polished and she's yeah. so good, they have a hard time trying to find a fucking story. Yeah. Because what? These are girls that are talented, they're polished. That's just Jan's story, that's what they went with, and it's just what she was dealt. Just that's don't believe it. the bullshit. And, and, yeah, don't believe the bullshit. The, no, so I, the thing I, about I, it is, allow the show to allow you to introduce you to these girls, but don't allow the show to dictate who these girls are. Hello. Because one thing about yes. it, two things Hello. for yes. sure, this show at the end of the day is still a show that's created to try to entertain you all. So they're always going to be a villain. They're always going to be somebody that's too much. There's always going to be the loud girl. There's always going to be the fuck up of the group. But that's how the show is made, just like any other show. Get a chance to, to learn these girls, to know these girls, to meet these girls, because I can guarantee you, the ones that you live for in person, you will hate. Absolutely. Exactly. And the ones that you hate in person will be the ones that will give you the, the show, that will give you the, the shirt off their back, bitch to give you a bobby pin, and they just have a, like, just allow the girls a chance. Yes. Don't and that's what I love. The show that to put a taste in y'all mouth about a bitch who just could not get it right for acting challenge. When bitch, she's not an actress, and it doesn't take away from her entertainment value. Bitch, everybody has different goals. This is like the girls that when we see the local girls. I don't call them local girls because I call them up and up and coming girls. Because at the end of the day, everybody's end doll is not to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, no. but it does not take away from who they are as an entertainer. So I just Hello. thank you. I Get thank you for that. And every girl. I thank you. I thank you for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's two different queens that compete on Drag Race. Queens that are good at Drag Race and queens that are good at drag. Yes. Huge difference. And you'll see it with the longevity because there are girls that do really well on the show. And just like Akira said, you see them in person and it's a huge disappointment. And then there's girls that you're like, oh, that's not what I expected. And the bitch slayed on stage or slayed a look. So please always keep an open mind, like Akira said, and be there to support all the girls, not just your favorites. And that is what, and that is what I love about here in Chicago that Roscoe's is allowed to give us this opportunity, this platform to have the girls here to tell the truth, tell the tea, tell exactly how they feel. And because we would not know that, you know, we would not know what you said unless you said it. And there's so many people that fantasize and they put so much towards someone even if they are the worst person and then they stand by them but don't understand their actual values that they were on a television show, they were doing this for ratings, they were doing their thing, they're not that person but they still stand for the things that they do. Does that make sense? So I get TV, I don't want it, I got it here. I got 30,000 views last week, motherfuckers. Let's make it 40 with a Kyrie and Heidi, okay? Now, with that said, I want the audience to prepare some questions. We're going to start watching Untucked. And I'm going to smoke and, a cigarette. Uh, Batty is going to go on a 15. Uh, if she wants to take half an hour, I won't be mad. Uh, but uh, we'll be right back after, during Untucked and taking all of your Our questions. Food is here. So uh, don't go anywhere. And Mikey, if you want to go ahead and throw that up, that would be great. Thank you so much, Nisha. Give it up for Nisha. <laughs> Woo! All right, we're going to do uh, questions even though you guys are snacking right now. but All right, um, Batty's still gone. We're going to go ahead and start some questions. Do we have any questions in the audience? We'll start right here. Your name and question. Hi, I'm Veronica. Hi, the Veronica. The, the, the Hi, mics, Veronica. You know, they, want a mic. they always want to grab the mic. You know, very excited. The, the, the hetero women. The uh, aggression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would love if you guys make out, please. Uh, but go ahead. Do question. it. Um, my question is for Miss Akiria. I want to know your thoughts, plans, and dreams for your drag funeral home. Well, okay, so it's not going to be a drag funeral home. It's just a funeral home that I want. And can you tell us more about what she's talking about for those who don't know about? Okay. So a dream of mine has, well, it started out I wanted to do hair and makeup for the dead. Uh, because I've always heard people talk about how they don't attend funerals because they don't feel like their loved ones look like 
they did when they were alive. Also because in the LGBTQ plus community, a lot of us, honestly speaking, don't have life insurance. So when, there's, when we pass, we're stuck raising money by doing benefit shows and by doing GoFundMe. So I want to be able to have a funeral home where I can cater to those people who don't have life insurance and still give them a proper burial also. So it was one of those things I started out, I just wanted to do hair and makeup, but in order to do hair and makeup, you have to go through the whole course. So I'm like, well, bitch, I might as well go ahead and get my own funeral home. Why not? That way, I know the whole shebang. So that's where I am. Thank you. All right, next question. We Make had one, sure over, I look pretty we had one I, over here. Okay. Make sure I look pretty when I oh, end you, up in You have a wrong. question? Oh, okay, yeah. Let's. Sean has a question. I always forget to ask, and you don't have to answer if you can't. Um, when you are eliminated and you're leaving, who is actually, what's on the screen? Ru I mean, I know they're not turning around a RuPaul video that quickly. So what are you actually looking at? If you can't answer, you don't have to, but I always... No, actually, the, she pops up. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why I was like, hmm, interesting. Girl, what's going on here, she sweetie? Probably, is it what we actually see? She, yeah, pop, she really. probably records all of them in bulk, saying everyone going home. Yeah. That's probably what she... Probably all pre-recorded. Pre yeah. It was pre-recorded, pre so they knew my time was Let's coming. record Akira's. Let's <laughs> record Jan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pre-recorded, so they knew my time Get one for everybody. Get one for everybody. Oh, my God. Pardon me, baby. I had a question about now that it's on the streaming service and it comes out earlier, there have been some queens that have been posting spoilers or you know their elimination prior to, let's say, an event like this happening. How do you feel about a possible internet spoilers prior to something like this? Honestly, I just I I would just say what do what I did before I ever got on Drag Race. Avoid the internet the day of the show airing, honey, because you know it's gonna be up there. Like you know you're going on your Instagram and you you expect to see it. You know it's gonna be there. So I just don't go looking. I just I'll, on days that it airs, I don't even get on my social media. Or if I do, I like scan just ever so slightly and then like get off real fast. Okay. Because you know it's coming. We, th 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 this ain't brand new. All Star Six, 13 seasons in the book. Baby, you know it's coming. Don't play. And then, Don't too, do. you have to also keep in mind that in that moment that the girl who has gotten eliminated, she's probably now watched the episode for the first time. So it's one thing to be eliminated, but to go through those emotions of what's going to take place afterwards, it's kind of one of those things where it's kind of like, I just want to get this all out the way. Yeah. And it's not to spoil anything for anybody else. It's just, I've now watched it. I've now saw how I've edited it. It's, I've now saw how I've, how I had to exit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, let me just get this over with. Like, let me release this picture because there's this unwritten rule that I have to release a picture and I have to release a speech and I have yeah. to do all this. It's like, the fans require a lot. Yeah, like, <laughs> demanding. you guys require a lot. So it's like, it's Very a double-edged sword because on one hand, we're trying to, like make you guys happy but at the same time it's like we can still not get it right yeah. because I had somebody today when I posted mine a, a clip from the girls reading the mirror he was like oh my god you spoiled it for me well sweetie we're 48 hours later <laughs> I, I got eliminated last week wait it's a whole week later what? Yeah. how's that a spoiler how's that you, a you, spoiler wait you under your rock Girl, where what what you yeah. miss yeah. they must have been busy so but it's just also, to piggyback off of what you said, um, the whole like, you you get you finally get to see yourself being edited. You you see how the whole episode turns out because I remember this how I was. I was like, well now I know the exact words I want to say alongside with this picture, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna get it off my chest right now and just say la vie, and and that's really like what it is because watching me get eliminated and then like literally crying as I watch myself cry on the TV, I was like, oh bitch. <laughs> Get my shit together, okay? Write this lovely little love letter to Drag Race and to all the lovely fans that I've cultivated throughout the season and all the amazing uh, opportunities that I got. And okay, that's it. That's good. Okay, send off. Well, it was, it was, yeah. No? She's not feeling that, no. That's what I did. <laughs> I with, have... with tears in my eyes. <laughs> I saw it and I said, thank you. <laughs> uh, bitch, I look, look good exiting. And did. MD. Mom. We have another question for you guys. Uh, first of all, I want to say, Nasha, you're gorgeous. Thank you. 
seeing you in person for the you first time. You better stop flirting. So Fucking gorgeous. <laughs> um, and then in the groove. This question in, in particular is for Akiria, because I know you're a big activist. Um, the gay community in itself is imperfect. We have men in this community with great credit scores, great jobs, great homes, great value. But because they don't look a certain way or are considered not to have value inside the community. With that being said, in light of what the baby and several other entertainers have said in recent days, how do we deal with the outrage on one end of the spectrum inside the community without dealing with what's actually happening? inside the community. In all states, question or answer, Akira okay. Chanel Davenport. <laughs> Bitch, this is a pageant right now. I okay. love. Woo! Am I back in a competition? You, <laughs> in question and answer, this is contestant number, Akira. Um, honestly, it's one of those things where it's just like how I feel when it comes to like the, the, the toxic fandom. Fuck them. That's honestly all you can say because if you sit up and you try to walk each day worried about what somebody's gonna say or how somebody views you or what somebody's gonna feel, bitch, you will realize that you're gonna wake up 10 years later and you're not gonna know who you are at all. You have to know your truth, you have to stand for a minute, you have to walk in your talk, and everybody else is irrelevant. We're not, listen, we're not put on this earth to be liked by everybody. We're not put on this earth to fit the same realm, the same group of people. So at the end of the day, if, if you're not their cup of tea, guess what, bitch? I tell people all the time, I'm an acquired taste. Not all of you hoes are going to like me, but guess what? Those who do know I am a delicacy, so enjoy. And in question and answer, that was a curious. She has, she has I live. spoke. She has spoke. Ooh. I live. Well, with that said, we're going to go ahead and go right back into Untucked, and we'll continue some questions after that. That was a maximum point of 15, and she won up. Oh, Batty, you're back. Girl. All right, guys. Do we have any more questions out here? Any more questions right over here? Oh, no. Hey. Oh. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> um, this is for both of you. Um, my name is TJ. And um, hi. So um, TJ Singer. After, <laughs> after your show and after your season or whatever, if you were to go back to All Stars, like Carrie, you were in All Stars, but Heidi, if you were to ever go back to All Stars, do you feel like you have something to prove to show how much you've grown after your season? Like, is it something that you feel like you need to prove to everyone out there? Uh, for me, honestly, the only things that I really did wrong on my first time around was my makeup skills and my runways. And honestly, if you follow me on social media, you see those are corrected real easily. So I don't really have, so I don't have nothing to go back and prove. I want to go back and show that I'm a badass bitch and I can, I can burn the building down on the runway. But I don't think I have nothing to prove because if you follow me, you'll see I've already elevated so much since my season. So I don't, I don't have nothing to prove. I, I want to go, I'm going to do what I did the first time around. I'm going to go in, show, bear my all and just do what I do best and that's just being me. And if they like it, they'll, they'll crown a bitch. If they don't like it, I'll get jammed. It doesn't matter. They'll try to break me psychologically. It doesn't matter. It's, uh, either way, I'm down the clown. I'm down like four flat tires. What's good? Oh, my God. All right. Well, um, and you don't, uh, Akira, you don't and feel, Akira, you don't feel like you had to prove anything, did you? Do you? Nope. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I had, honestly, I had going, sensed the energy in the room already. I said, this bitch ain't even going to acknowledge this question. No, honestly, going back into All Stars, my whole thing was to have fun because the first time around for season 11, I didn't have fun. I was so busy in my head because we're on a show where they tell you, don't be your inner saboteur, but yeah. bitch, you're in the bottom for something you're known to do and you can't talk to anybody. So who else do you talk to besides your damn inner saboteur? So it's just like, Going into All Stars, I had money. I wanted to make sure I was financially able to go. I wanted to make sure I was mentally able to go. And I wanted to make sure I had fun this time around. That's why when I was eliminated, I was satisfied because all of those things I set out to do outside of getting the crown, I set out to do, I did. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. She, she hit that quick, didn't she? She 
hit that. Qu- she said, "Let me get this in before bitch, Maddie opens up her fucking she mouth." She sure did. I and live. that bitch just shot it out. I live. Maddie, you have a question over there. I do. What's your name, sweetie? Ryan. Hi. Uh, it's my birthday, by the way. Thank you. It's Happy Leo birthday. birthday! Happy Leo season. Um, for both of you, if given the opportunity, uh, what other reality show you would be on besides RuPaul's Drag Race? Survivor. <laughs> it's the same damn thing, isn't it? Ba- baby, it's probably feels the same shit. Let me tell you a story. Because on season 12, I felt like it was the motherfucking Hunger Games. I was like, bitch, I gotta just make it as far as I can. I was like, at one, at one point in my season, I was the only bitch that had lip synced twice. And no one else had lip synced. I was like... But then I won the next episode, so, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I would love to do Survivor. I don't know. I've always watched it. I've, I've grown up watching it and loved it. Um, I don't like the outdoors, so that might be a little struggle. Um, <laughs> this bitch is inside all the time. Girl, she, she don't go outside for anything. Might have to build me a hut just for myself that's, like, <laughs> ventilated and, like, a, a, a king-size mattress, a queen, maybe, size mattress my own storage of food because I'm not eating with them. Um, but uh, yeah, um, or, or Amazing Race, but I can't drive, so, so I'd have to go with but someone that can drive. So you lost that one too, bitch. So maybe Big Brother, so I'm inside. Yes, that's my favorite. I'd be a Big Brother. <laughs> so she what would do you? all of them. What uh, about you, Akira? Akira, what about you? Anything on the Cooking Network? Yeah. yeah. I, listen, I love Next yes. Great Baker. I love all those candy creation shows. Like, I'm very big on being creative, I, and plus I love to eat. Um, also, I would love to be on Project Runway. I'm not the best. I'm not the best at sewing, but I'm sure it's a lot of other, those other bitches that could show me some things. I don't mind losing again, bitch. I, okay. I did it twice, so why not? If you keep losing, you keep going back. That's the key. Okay. To Thank the you. Win. They can't get enough. If you keep losing, they keep bringing you back. Today we're making a true. curious Creole chicken. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Can I be the host of your show? Of course. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> and a taste test, too. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have another question for you guys. All right, so since Drag Race fucked up and sent Akira home way too soon, <laughs> knowing that the next episode is Snatch Game, what did you have prepared and how did you think you would have done? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I love yes. that. Yes. I was going to be the black mother of Hollywood, Jennifer Lewis. Yes. Jennifer oh. Lewis! Oh. That's a good one. No, Shangela, I'm not coming for your gig, bitch. You, you want to give us a little bit of it? Of course not. Uh, <laughs> I might have to tank for free, sweetie. Might have to use it for I was eliminated. <laughs> How many nights did you stay in Shangela's basement in Jennifer's house to study her? <laughs> Just None. question. Okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap this up with, uh, I think, is this the last segment of Untucked? The last segment of Untucked. Go ahead, Mikey. It, listen, if I was Jan after that emotional roller coaster, I'd be like, fuck you. I'm not doing this shit again. I am done. <laughs> it is a wrap. I am, any other like, girls, honestly, Alan. I would be like, fuck this. Fuck your game within a game. I'm out of this bitch. No, remember, she has 110. She it's, doesn't stop. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, okay, so I want to remind you guys. Oh, um, our special guest next week, we have Eureka O'Hara. And we have Denali. Oh, I get what you were doing. Oh, yeah, now you get it. Bitch. L- ladies, ladies. Wow. So. What happened? Oh, I, I can't wait to watch your to Twitter just slowly <laughs> dissipate. You're so rude to me for no reason. So she, I mean, <laughs> there, it was supposed to be climactic, but you know. Anyway, let's it just It was still on. exciting. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so we have Denali and Eureka next week. It'll be really, really, really cute. We, we've had uh, Denali here before, and we had a cute time with Denali. Denali's Why fun. are you squinting your eyes like you didn't? I had a great time with I her. I saw it, Why, too. Bitch, well, she's I, like, I had a great... We had, we had Denali talk, I had a great time with Denali from Yeah, you can come Chicago. on Tuesday for dinner with Denali, oh, too, bitch. From, from Chicago. By the way of Alaska, Because you know right? Denali's Alaska. She's from Alaska. That bitch ain't from Chicago. I can't stand that she says that, but... Oh, well, we'll talk to her next week about I, I'm being from Chicago. Disney. We gotta make sure we bring I, that up. We gotta I make sure we bring that up. I don't have nothing to do with this. I wanna know if it's <laughs> Cook County, you know, where she stay. <laughs> she live right around the corner. Give me oh, that address, bitch. I know where she lives. Do so so we have any guys, other questions? Any other questions? I have a question. Yes, my Ooh. love. 
what do you guys think the game within a game is? Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm gonna choose this gentleman right here to answer that. Yeah, Sam. Um, and then, what do you think the game is within the game? What do you think it's gonna be? So I feel like they're gonna. All the eliminated queens are going to choose the winner. Yeah, not, not All Stars Three. <laughs> okay, they did have a Hold not on. All Stars Three. Ugh. So uh, we have a question now over Love here. Uh, hi, my name is Lewis. I think uh, Eureka is gonna win this season because a big girl got to win now this time. But I just want to say it's my too. birthday. It's my birthday Ginger's today, and this too. is my mom, and this is her first time at Boys Town. Oh my God! Oh. Oh. What's what's her name? What's your mom's name? Everyone say hi, Hilda. Hi. Hola, Hilda. Bienvenidos, mi amor. This is Hilda. It's her first time. In ¿Cómo estás? So ¿Cómo question. Estás? So, Hola. She so said bien. So let me ask you this then. Since you say you feel like Eureka's going to win because she's a, it's time for a big girl to win. Yeah. Yes. Are you saying that the show basically runs off of pleasing the audience oh, well. so demographic is what yeah it, that's a whole nother thing right like it's so true what you're saying Akira do you guys think it's based on demographic like oh a big girl needs to win I said the words wrong um but oh uh, backtrack yes <laughs> yes era, 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 out. Hey. because I guess I'm just a Eureka fan I think I just want her to win so bad. Right. So okay. So say that because see what happens is when you guys say certain things like that, it discredits the yep. person. Ed educate the children. Yep. Educate so the it's children. Like, because I've heard so many different things. It's like okay, Ginger or or uh, Eureka's gonna win because they're big girls, or Kylie's gonna win because she's trans. Yeah. Why can't the the winner win because she won? Because she was the or best. Because true. Production, you know, chose her for whatever it's reason. It's true. It's totally true. How about over here? Do we have another question? We have another question right here. <laughs> Sorry to make you walk all over here. Hello, everyone. Hi. This Hello. Is, this is for Heidi and Akira. Fuck. Okay. What, oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck our drag nation. <laughs> Oh, anyone can answer. If you were offered the chance to host the pit stop, would you? And if no, who should finally replace Trixie? Oh, bitch! Y'all are going to drag my shit, Trixie. Y'all are going to drag my shit, Trixie. Listen, I, I kind of live for that, the way he said that. No, no. I live for it because... I, and before you guys answer this question, because I want you guys to definitely answer this, I I love the way that you said that because um, there are more queens than your white queens, Alaska, um, uh, Trixie, uh, the same ones over and over and over and over again. So I would love to have some more people of color, some Latinas, some just just to spice things up a little bit and definitely have different people that we don't usually yes. see have these outlets, right? What'd you say? Yes. Well, we're Bob and Raja. I didn't hear what you said, baby. What? Black girls. Black girls. Okay, I don't think, I, I think like... at some, okay, you go ahead. Because the, the, the question was not for me, but I don't think that, what, I don't think it should be defined by the color of your skin. I think it should be yeah. defined by the talent the and the words. No, 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 I, I get what you're saying, that it shouldn't be defined. But we're not talking about definition, because I'm not going to sit here and compare my talent to that uh, to the next hole. But I will tell you this, there's no representation, and I'm just as talented. So give me the motherfucking opportunity. Well, yeah. That's it. Okay. That's it. Well, then there it's you have it. It's give the girl the opportunity it to do it. It's as simple as that, because this isn't about measuring my talent against somebody else's. It's not that. It's about the opportunity. And guess what? Nobody's asked me to the table. And guess what? I'm going to show up to the motherfucking table if I have yes. to. Yes. No. No, you so show up to the table. Uh, I'm just saying. And I encourage every well, other ahead. girl that, that would do that. But so Sorry, that just gets me I worked up. Because Nisha wants a job, honey, with wild um, production. But go ahead and answer that it's question. A little, it's a little warm over here, huh? Okay. I would honestly love to see a girl who's lost the competition um, host the show because a lot of times those girls feel like they no longer have anything to lose. So they're going to give you the honest, unfiltered truth. Or I would love to see somebody who's never competed in the competition but loves the art form of drag to talk about it because you're going to get an unbiased opinion about the show. Because what happens a lot of times is, and this is not saying for Trixie, but what happens, we see a lot of these, um, what do you call them, shows where they critique us or whatever, they the little oh, aftermath. Like, like the fashion photo reviews. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and all that and stuff. Those yeah. are girls who are working 
for production. So you don't always get the 100% truth. It's more to basically piggyback off what we've just watched. And a lot of times we're not going to always agree with what we just watched. Even as contestants, there's been a lot of times where judges said a lot of things that I didn't agree with or a lot of girls that were placed in the bottom for a lot of reasons that I don't agree with. So let's get somebody there that's going to actually say how they feel because it's going to actually make the show good and it'll actually give the audience a chance to have somebody to agree with because I'm sure watching, y'all don't always agree with who was sent home or who was placed in the bottom or how someone was placed in a certain challenge. So... 90%. 90%. Well, I feel like the show is strategic, period. It's a show. So, I mean... It has to fit a narrative. Yeah, it, it has to make TV. And it's because, a television show. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you have to realize, like, when Drag Race first started, it was about drag. You saw... we They did the thrift store challenges. Like, that's honestly... If I could pick something to go back to, I would want to go back to that because that's what showed the real talents of these girls versus me not liking Heidi, and now we have to talk about it for three episodes. Oh, so she don't no, like I'm just using her for example. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, so she don't yeah, like me. Because I know how that can go. But me she using, likes me. you know, us talking about it for three episodes, or a girl coming on feeling like she has to now make up a narrative in order to be relevant on a show, no, just show who you are and what you're talented for. Oops. Oh, oh, where? You, you know, uh, the good, the good book says. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard what he said. The I good can't book e says, I can't take a sip. I can't even through. repeat it. <laughs> no, no, no. He's just saying sometimes uh, the, the narrative, they just shove certain people down your throat. And there's someone on this season he believes they're forcing down our yeah, throat. Yeah, yeah. Who do you guys think it is? You, somebody said Ginger. Serena Cha Cha. Somebody said yeah. Kylie. <laughs> I think, Serena Cha Cha. I think they're shoving Ginger down. You know, I, I truly, and, and you were there with the table talk. I don't think that she should have won that. I personally, from the bottom of my heart, and watching because I have an opinion, I can. I don't think that she should have won. I think that Eureka. I think y'all should have. They should have won. Eureka was such a great moderator. She moderated in a way that was so personable and so reputable. And was that was it was something Broadway that was, was not forced. Ginger was forced because of what she was working with. Like it was just a full different situation. It was not authentic. And an. And, and to, then when they're right, and then when thirty thousand dollars, and then to piggyback off what she's saying, because I agree with that. Uh, there's something else that I think they're doing this season. Is there's someone on this season that, in my opinion, and this I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna get shit for this, but has been, in my opinion, mediocre, but is being praised because they want to fill a demographic. That is just my personal opinion. Because, listen, if you take the clothes that somebody on this season is wearing and you put it on somebody else, they would have got that bitch together. But because they're trying to appease certain people, I think that they're doing what we just, what you just talked about with someone. I, I, if you agree, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. Maybe you don't, but I'm going to get shit for it, so I'm not going to say... But, I'm not gonna but honestly, that's I don't how know. I always judge the runways, though. I, that's when, I'm look, when I'm watching back as some, a viewer, I say, if this was on her, what would the judges say? And that's what makes me feel like, oh, okay. Yeah. Because honestly, looking at a lot of things, yes, certain things work for certain people, but at the end of the day... We all know if certain looks were on other girls, they would get chewed alive. Yeah, alive, bitch. Like, I would have but. loved to see Pandora step her pussy up and really carry what you carried, but it wasn't to the caliber. But see, okay, so, but the, thing, so we the don't. Thing with we're, this is all stars. We're not comparing you all. You are all stars. Good. You're coming in and you're, you're, you're bringing the best of what you have. And just like you said, you got your mind, you got your money, you got your things. You did your thing in a very short period of time yes. from the first to the second. So I get that. Someone that has been doing this and, and wants to call themselves a legendary and iconic 
but hasn't done anything and hasn't seen anything change. I that's why I think when they name we, they say the name or oh, we see her on the TV of Pandora Box, it's like this, just like it is right now. But see, okay, so to piggyback off of that, honestly, you have to also keep in mind that Pan, Pan, for Pandora, she's been in this a very, very, very long time. Season two. And so Pandora has pretty much developed a look for who Pandora is. And although we're in a time frame where a lot of us are not going to appreciate it, but we also, again, it falls to that thing where we have to keep in mind, bitch, the show shows who they want to be seen. And it doesn't take away from what Pandora does because Pandora is amazing in her own element. It's just not everybody's taste. It's not to the next caliber of the younger generation that... Right, but so it, okay, so, it's, so it's, but then not, she will be a her re- validity is not. It, it, it's, I'm not taking that away from her. I'm just saying if there was if, if Pandora had maybe somebody like yourself partner up with her, Pandora could become even a more amazing. Okay, but let's be honest because it's though. it's the look. You know you how come saw, nobody wants to dress Pandora? If, but if you I, they saw, wait, dress but wait, you. if you saw Pandora in Kylie's tropical outfit, you would read her still because at the end of the day, the look was sickening. But that doesn't fit Pandora. No. There's no way in the world Pandora could have made that look look good. I'd love to see it though. <laughs> I would love to. Yeah. I'd but love I'm to see it Pandora though. Pandora has a actual look. That's just like even with RuPaul. With Ru- RuPaul, y'all expect her to come out here with this big hair. She's going to have on a gown. The moment she started showing legs, it was like, ooh, ah. What but cat suit? When yeah, she did a cat but suit it's for honestly the same thing that Ru always does. You don't see RuPaul in a kitty cat wig. No. I you know. don't. Oh, man. No, so, I don't think I there's mean, ever a photo of her from the beginning. Like, yeah. No. I mean, to be honest with you, she's inspired by the girls. She didn't even wear body until this show started, so she started doing the show. She would wear just her legs. And then you would have people like someone like Akira, who uh, uh, you have body What you out. looking for? You have <laughs> you have Eureka. What's she I looking have, like? You have Eureka I, who pads fiercely. I, I have and body then you're out. Have, wait, what? I have body out, too. Yeah. <laughs> you are bodied out. You absolutely Ew. are. <laughs> but... <laughs> It might be a little furry right now, but bitch. But I, I hear live, you might I like. Live. But I hear you might like that. So, hi. All right, ladies but that and was gentlemen. Great. That was but great. wait, back to the original question. I would love an opportunity to host the pit stop. Yes. Yes. If Heidi hosts, I want Heidi to host drunk because sober I'll Heidi is going to be politically correct. I'll do it high because that's what I did the pit. Oh, so when you did the pit stop with Trixie and you're like, oh my God, I'm having such a good time. You're like, I really fucking hate you. But the, I'm, the, I'm time I was in my, the time I was in my apartment by myself, yes, I may have been a little You were high. on a screen piece. I, I, think I, just I would never show ago. up to a gig high. <laughs> Again. Again. I would. <laughs> I did the competition Ladies high. and gentlemen, please make some noise for our lovely queens, Miss Heidi and Closet and, and Akira Delacorte. I want to remind you guys that tomorrow we will be performing at 10 p.m. So come on by, give the girls some coin, and enjoy the show. Uh, 10 o'clock, all right, guys? Uh, with that said, uh, again, Eureka and Zanali next week. Is there anything else you want to touch on? No, we just want to thank you guys for your continued support. Tell a friend, tell a foe, bring a hoe. We love you all. We'll see you next time. My name is Batty Davis. And my name is Nasha Lopez. Bye to you two. We thank love you guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. And scene. Fuck this bullshit, man. No. Cut, the, cut the camera. Oh my. Turn that shit up, dog.